Good morning friends. Today I am going to demonstrate you about high table osteotomy, the open wedge technique and how we do it with the indigenous high table osteotomy set. High table osteotomy is a very uh, recommended surgery in early osteoarthritis of the knee, predominantly medial compartment osteoarthritis in young patients. High table osteotomy can be performed in either a closed wedge or an open wedge fashion. Closed wedge osteotomy usually de decreases the slope whereas the high tibial osteotomy open variant usually decrease, increases the slope. So if we are planning to decrease the slope, it is imperative that if you are doing an open wedge osteotomy, you need to open the osteotomy more from the back on the posterior side than on the front, that is the anterior side. This is an important technical pearl that you must remember. Now I am just talking about a different types of open wedge osteotomy that we can do. A standard open wedge osteotomy is an oblique osteotomy. You start it from the level of tibial shin and then you go up to the level of the fibular head in an oblique fashion and then you break the osteotomy or hinge the osteotomy on the hinge point or the lateral intact tibial cortex and then you open it. You can fail either graft or calcium substitute or if it is less than 10 millimeters, you may not need to fill up anything and then you fix up with a implant like plate. Ends of high tibial osteotomy. You can do a straight cut. So you can do a horizontal cut just above the tibial tuberosity that is one technique or you can do a L shaped cut considering the lateral uh, tibial tuberosity and make a cut like this or you can do an inverted L shaped cut. I will be telling you advantages of each and everything. Uh, if you are performing a horizontal osteotomy, you need to be very careful regarding the tibial tuberosity and the patella tendon and uh, it does causes patella infra or patella baja and so if the patient has got patella baja, you need to avoid this kind of a open wedge osteotomy. You can do this osteotomy if the caton dashan rash ratio is more than 1. If it is less than 1, you try to avoid this kind of osteotomy. The other osteotomy is almost similar. It is an L-shaped osteotomy and it is, it is formed to preserve the patellar tendon and the tibial tuberosity is an L-shaped. The other osteotomy that we sometimes do is an inverted L-shaped osteotomy and it uh, there is a horizontal cut and there is an inverted L-shaped appearance so that tibial tuberosity goes with the proximal fragment as compared to the distal fragment and uh, this uh, osteotomy is good for patients who have patella infra or patella baja and you can do a better slope correction with this osteotomy. But the problem with this osteotomy is that the union of tibial tuberosity is an issue. And so if you are doing an inverted L-shaped osteotomy, ideally you should use an anterior posterior screw, at least one. I recommend two screws from anterior to posterior along with the plate that you fix on the medial aspect. So this was about the types of osteotomy, uh, open wedge osteotomy that we do. Now I will be just demonstrating you this set. This is set is manufactured by Osteocare and this is a very versatile set. It has a T-shaped plate and there are two, two plates here for your disposal. This is a plate, this is a four hole plate for the osteotomy on the medial side. This is without the center hole wedge and this is a plate with a center wedge. And there are different wedges available. So you have a wedge which is a 10 millimeter wedge and we have you have a wedge which wedge which is a uh, 12 millimeter wedge and you have a small screwdriver given with it and so you can use this plate with a, with a wedge and the wedge can be shifted up and down and can be tightened like this and you can use this wedge as and when required if you need it. So this wedge you can use, you can use a bone graft instead of this wedge, you can use a calcium substitute instead of this wedge and suppose if you don't want to use a bone graft or a calcium substitute, you can use this wedge instead. So this wedge is available in two dimensions, 10 millimeters and 12 millimeters. So this is a very good T-shaped plate with good fixation options. You have got screws, four fixation screws proximally and four options of fixation screws distally. 
when we talk about the screws we have got three types of screws which are available you have the standard cortical screw which can be used to give compression to the plate and then you have a cortical screw which is a green colored screw and then you have a cancellous screw which is a sort of a gray colored screws and these both screws are locking screws so for your for your for your proximal holes you can use either of these cortical or cancellous threaded screws uh, the set comes with a nice system so there is a osteotomy expander the set comes with chisels and osteotome so you have a chisel you have an osteotome to do an osteotomy you have a gouge if you want to take a bone graft and then occasionally you want to bend the plate so the set comes with a plate bender and then to expand the osteotomy we have a very good lamina spreader which you can use to expand the osteotomy in this way and then it, you can you can tight it you can fix it up in the particular position the you can adjust the amount of opening that you want to do and then you can just fix it up the amount of opening you keep the lamina spreader there fix up the plate and then you can release the lamina spreader you can use the bone graft along with the lamina spreader as well and these are the different depth gauges these are the uh, retractor sets which are available screw drivers which are available with the plate and this is a very versatile instrument which we use with the screwdriver and this is an opener basically this is a, this is called an osteotomy opener and what you can do is you can just do this screw to actually open the osteotomy over the lateral hinge point so this is a very uh, versatile instrument which we use in this particular set to open the osteotomy and then in this osteotomy we have wedges and you can you, there are two of these wedges which are available and there are it is markings over the uh, this also so this marking will tell you how much millimeters of distraction is possible so you can use these two uh, osteotomy wedges and then this wedges have a holders associated with that so what you can do is you can hold this osteotomy wedges with these screwdrivers and then impact these two when you did, did the osteotomy and then you can use the plate in between or you can use graft in between so this uh, these are the two uh, triangular wedges which are used for holding the osteotomy opening in its place so this that comes up with a alignment rod also so there are four uh, small rods which are interconnectable so what you can do is you can just connect these rods together to make a useful to find the hip knee and ankle axis intraoperatively and this is a very modular thing is actually a very versatile and a useful set for a surgeon uh, it's a very surgeon friendly instrumentation you have got a lot of modularity uh, if you have any doubts regarding use of system you can write us on the comment box uh, we we are planning to upload a technique of high table osteotomy on the youtube and we recommend you to uh, see that technique as well i would like you to like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you